Are you upset about the fact that you've got to get groped down by the TSA in order to fly? Meanwhile, the southern borders are wide open. If so, you might be anti-immigration. That's right, if you are an American who is concerned about having an unsecure border, you're just against immigration altogether, even though, of course, this is a country founded on immigrants. Now, this logic is according to Texas TV news station KVEO-TV in Brownsville, Texas, and they reported that the border convoy is anti-immigration, even though that's a label that the group's organizer, Eric Odom, rejects. He says, not once did we say we were opposed to immigration or did we call ourselves anti-immigration, as we've stated with pretty much Every media outlet that we talk to, we are here to demand a deterrent for bad people or diseased people coming into our country. So now we're labeling Americans who support secure borders as anti-immigration, even though no other civilized country in the world has had such open borders, open their borders so widely and said, come on in, as America has in the past few months. There is a legal process for entering this country legally, and of course, some of the things that you've got to check off when you want to come into the country is if you are carrying any contagious diseases or if you are a person who is of good moral character. These are things that you have to be able to prove before you're able to come into this country legally. But of course, supporting legal immigration through proper channels Two plus two is five, so I guess that means I'm just against immigration because I'm for legal immigration? I don't know. But that's what the media is just trying to spin, is that if you are against this, you know, wide open borders, then you don't care about all the children, because it's just children that are just clutching their teddy bears that we are talking about here. They're seeking a refugee status. That is the, the heart strings, the old tug on the heart strings. But these aren't just children that are coming across the border. While the world is focused on all of these children, we have criminals actually taking advantage of the fact that there are no border agents there patrolling the borders because all the agents are busy taking care of these children. Now, we're talking about criminal, criminals like the two Mexican nationals who are being charged with the murder of Customs and Border Protection agent Javier Vega Jr. And he was murdered this past weekend in front of his family while on a fishing trip. Now, those two men had both been deported numerous times, and they've been living in southern Texas illegally. See, it's not just sweet children seeking refuge. Now, according to Border Patrol agent and vice president of the National Border Patrol Council, Sean Moran, he says they are not, these are not just children clutching teddy bears. We're dealing with something much worse. These are not people that are just coming here to work as the, the, the so-called line is, is fed to us. These people are coming to do horrible things, and I think the murder of Agent Vega shows what these people are capable of. Now, Vega's funeral service was held today, and hundreds gathered in attendance, including 300 law enforcement officers and friends and family of the slain agent. So not only are we now seeing states having to pay the price in blood of having an unsecure border, but they're also having to pay for funeral services for this border agent. Also, we've reported on um, towns going bankrupt, having to pay for the funeral services of unaccompanied minors and other illegal immigrants that don't make the treacherous journey across the border. But that is not all. Now, Texas taxpayers and other states, but here we're just talking about Texas taxpayers, are going to have to shell out approximately $45 million to educate these children that are coming across. In Texas alone, there are about 4,800 of these unaccompanied minors who have been set free. Now, assuming that these minors are not immediately deported, and as we've reported before, they're not going to be because of the backlog, they are expected to enter the public school system come fall. Now, Texas Education Agency General Counsel David Anderson reportedly said that the state pays about $7,900 per student to districts currently. Now, these children are going to come with certain needs, like free or reduced lunch qualifications, as well as bilingual or special needs. So we'll estimate about $9,500 per student to be paid to districts. So assuming that all of these 4,800 foreign minors are going to be entering public school, 
Texas will shell out about $45.6 million to educate these children. And of course, as Breitbart and as InfoWars has reported previously, there are more than 30,000 of these unaccompanied minors being released into the interior, out into other states where they are being fostered, they're being sent with their families. So be sure to ask where your tax dollars are going come election season. Be sure to call your representative and find out where they're sending your tax dollars. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low-grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com.